So again, uh, we are given a standard of the stress. Okay. So we are given in a context. And we're going to find to find the stress in an inclined plane. So the particular inclined plane is defined by this. So let me um, define my corner system. And when you draw, I try to draw this line uh, lightly because I have a more. Okay. So um, the inclined plane, let me draw it. This one be good. So here, for example, this is the x1 direction, uh, say x, y, z. Okay. The inclined plane in the first part is this, uh, taking the equal amount from the three axes and then For this inclined plane in the first quadrant, uh, basically it had the normal unit vectors pointing in that direction. Okay, so. This is a particular inclined plane we choose. And don't ask why, but we just choose it. Okay. And we choose such a particular uh, orientation. Then we can begin to determine uh, the stress. Magnitude of the string stress, and let me say uh, tau, okay, can be cal uh, calculated per the following equations tau square equal to t and square minus uh, sigma n square. So here the t n. Um, equal to is the constant stress. So that means equal to uh, T N one. If you remember our formula, so that is L tau one J J. Okay. So.
expand it. It will be filled. Okay. And TN2. Simply this one are equal to what we define L1, L2, L3. And uh, sigma n is the normal stress. Calculation sigma n simply is equal to Tn1, Tn2, and Tn3 uh, project into n direction. So that is in the product with these vectors. Again, uh, from the previous one sections, we've been calculated this one. So simply, I we can apply that information to here. Okay. Sigma n is the normal stress in the climb plane, so that means sigma n is in the uh, in the n direction. In the n direction, that meaning is to simply project the Cauchy stress uh, the Cauchy stress component into n direction. So mathematically, that simply take the inner product here. Okay. So do the calculation at the top, and so here. For our definitions, the tau is the string stress in such a particular plane. This plane is called the octahedral plane. That simply is the name uh, provided by people. And here, by the field trend, we simply tag it. One actinic plane is such that its normal stress component is in this way. Okay. So in this way, why not? We here we added out that OCT indicating that is the stress in the actinic plane. OCT. Here. You good? Okay. And this is a general uh, calculations and a note. Indicating that there's uh, other octahedral planes. Uh, actually, there's a eight, in total eight such kind of the octahedral planes. And let me try to draw it. This one I draw it is on the first project. Okay, well, you can see this carefully. Then the second one is here, um, in the quadrant back to here. So that means let me check the equal distance. Okay, so those are the equal distance. I take that equal distance and then I make the plane. Okay, so the second one, the second plane actually is in other quadrant. Okay, again, on um, this axis, I take the equal one. So let me draw the using different color. So this is the one in the back. Can you see that one? Okay. The third one is in at this corner here. So in total, I draw in the upper portion of the corner systems. There's a four, and you reflect, you you reflect uh, down to the bottom another four. In total, eight. 
Okay, so those eight basically uh, can be the normal vectors. Basically, is uh, this one, one of such eight combinations. Be good. The features of the octahedral plane. Basically, the possible combination is um, this. So, um, any one of the eight combinations. calculations and sometimes the calculation can be easier if we start with the given one if we are given in the principal direction okay given that tau i j is in one of its principal directions, so that means, let me continue here, so that means that tau i j basically equal to sigma 1, sigma 2, and sigma 3, 0, 0, 0, so the sigma 1, 2, 3 are the three principal stresses. If we start it from here, then that really saves us a lot of the time because at least the string stress components will become. If we are given a status of stress, this invariance of those things is there, doesn't matter how we transform into the different component system. So be nice to ourselves. If we start from here, then the things will be easier. So in this way, the OCT, let me copy from the note there. So basically that is a Tn squared minus sigma n squared. And that one basically can be converted into sigma 1 squared times 3 plus sigma 2 squared times 3 plus sigma 3 squared times 1 over 3. And minus sigma n, that is sigma 1 times 3 and sigma So that the whole uh, list of formulas uh, from here applied to that case can be as simple as this one. So those ones, again, if we do everything carefully, then actually this one can be equal to 1 ninth, 2 i1 squared minus 6 i2. This one can be equal to 2 thirds of j2. The last two are the handy equations if you like to use on the cheat sheet. In this way, that kind of linking to here, we will be able to relate the J2 to octahedral stress square. Okay? So, again, in these sections, we simply introduce quite a bit new terms 
uh, to the to you at the first time you uh, in touch with this kind of thing. So the focus of the tech home information is to adopt the quite a bit new terms we define here, and then the do fundamental calculations. Uh, this will be the good example uh, to exercise the fundamental definition of how we determine to exercise this one. So in the homework, and if you are given a number, you simply plug in those kind of equations. 